John, a full a full week of training, which seems like something that we've not had since about January. How's it been for the group? Uh, yeah, different, really. Uh, you're right. We've had, you know, we've been Saturday, Tuesday for as long as I can remember. So um, it's it's been nice to sort of like uh, have the full week to to prepare for this game and moving forward as well to Tuesday. On Tuesday, results elsewhere meant that we have now secured our home tie for the playoff eliminator uh, next week. Yeah, uh, so that was nice. So that obviously gave us the option to, you know, rest one or two uh, going into Saturday's game. Um, you know, we still did just discuss who's going to start, but uh, at least it gives us that option moving forward. So that 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 was uh, that was good, and you know, I'm grateful for to Gateshead for for doing the business on the night. I was going to say, now we have got that sort of home playoff tie, we can only finish fifth now. Is it now an opportunity to give some players some rest heading into the playoffs or do we want to try and continue or continue form heading into the playoff campaign? No, you know, they're both valid points, um, but, but um, what it does do, you know, we've had lads, you know, limping over the line, really, uh, and so it gives us the opportunity to, to, to rest one or two. They've got some tired legs out there and we've we've picked up one or two little niggly injuries so so it does give us that opportunity and, and we're grateful for that. Dean always likes to say takes one game at a time but with knowing that we could place Bromley or Borenwood on Tuesday is there any sort of preparation starting without having a look or is it purely focused on Dagenham at the minute? Well it's only it is one game at a time uh, essentially but um, and, and, we, and we can't we can't sort of focus we can focus our minds in terms of you know you know what we need to do but we obviously can't prepare for e either either or either because we don't know who we're playing at the moment so so you know we'll just focus on Saturday uh, as I say there may be one or two getting rest so so they can recoup recover and get ready for for Tuesday whoever that may be. Uh, of course before the players we do have the game tomorrow against Dagenham what sort of challenge are you expecting from them here? To uh, well, listen. They, they've 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 picked up certainly. I think uh, under new management, of course, and uh, I think uh, they'll want to finish the season strong and, and and make a statement, you know, with regards to next season. And of course, you know, this time of year, you've got you've got players that will be out of contract. They want to make statements. They want to, you know, say I'm here. I am, and and, and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'd expect the the best version of Dagenham. Put it that way. And finally, just team news, you said about a few niggles. Um, are there any of them sort of long-term ones or should everyone be ready going into next week? No, obviously, uh, Sam Woods has, has been out. Uh, he's a, he's a long-term injury, unfortunately. Um, other than that, we've got a little bit of uh, illness that's been in around the camp. Uh, so we've, we've had a couple off with, with illness. Um, I, I doubt we need to risk them for tomorrow. So, um, you know... Uh, other than that, we've we've got a full, pretty much a full complement, as good as it gets, really, for for, for us. So yeah, we're, we're we're okay. John, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.